organises this Sunday, uh, the 19th of July. Just done a little harvest. Uh, of Rossa lettuce. Uh, I can't remember this. Uh, um, some charred beet, sorry, some beet leaf. Corkazits, an onion for somebody, some rhubarb, and some more. Uh, some peas there, and some more lettuce and that there. And that's my little harvest for shed walls today. And loads more, as you can see to harvest but uh, I'm just going up to my local pub um, because some people want some lettuce so I hope they wanted some lettuce or they can have the whole lot if they want because there ain't no way I'm eating all that but anyway good fun so let's go and feed them cheers guys bye hey guys <coughs> it's uh, Sunday evening and uh, I'm just putting some endive out never grown it before same uh, method I've done before, uh, plug plants basically, grow myself some seed, here you go, here you go, uh, and all I simply do, oh let's do this one in the corner, yep, can you see, can you see, yep, yep, okay, let's just squeeze aside, and then what I tend to do is just gently pull, there's a plug, dip the holes with a dibber, there he is, and I just basically, there you go, drop him in, and literally then just go, Bob's your uncle, jobs are good, enough. I literally just do the old, plonky down, let it get on with it. That looks sad to start with, but uh, that'll be all right. Have you noticed as well that I've uh, watered the uh, soil? Uh, not only does it make it easy to dip, but uh, dip the holes, but it also means they've got some water already around them. And it's warm water. It's actually from my collected rainwater, so it's actually warm. Uh, and I think it's about half past seven on a Sunday evening now. So that's what I'm going to do. 14 there. There's obviously more than one plant in each. See how they get on. Uh, and uh, I'm going to probably rip all of these up as well. Uh, they're not doing, they've got seed anyway now. So rip all that up. Probably do that as well now. I might put some more of that in there because I've got four four rows of seven. That's 20, 28 plug plants. Uh, it's actually be two lots, two rows, 14 of each. Yeah. Uh, as I said earlier, you should, shown you earlier about the uh, salad crops. So, so I'm pulling some of these up as whole plants. We're just cutting them off. They're coming to the end, really. Uh, they need to go now. This bed is completely empty, as I showed all the onions. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Uh, and I'm going to be putting some kohlrabi in. And they're going to go in the basket cage over there. So I'll get on with that, and I will see you in a bit. See you guys. Hi peeps, it's uh, Thursday the 23rd of July, um, back 20 past 3, a quick break from work and uh, thought I'd come down here and just have a quick look, um, polytunnel, um, yeah I've got the uh, white, uh, lovely white cabbage butterfly. Um, the heart in the middle is okay, so obviously it'll grow in from the inside out. But um, I think I've got rid of most of the stuff. That one's not too bad. And I've got others outside as well. Tom's are doing nice still. Wait for them to start to ripen. 
But the first ones to ripen are the yellow delight, and I have one here. And I'm going to try it, and as Terry always says, don't mind if I do. Mm. So that's the first tomato off my plot. There's another one there. It's a bit longer. I'll leave that on there to get all the others going. Yeah, Yellow Delight. That is beautiful. The uh, beef steaks are doing brilliant. <coughs> yeah. Chilies are doing great. This is the best I've ever had, ever. I'm so pressed for these because these are actually, I know it sounds daft, but these were grown from seed. Uh, I can't pronounce them. Chili pepper and a and a hame. Uh, we've got a few of those, and we've got some bell peppers. That one's still on there. I'm just trying to get the rest to to actually start to uh, form some fruit. Uh, Scotch bonnets to start to form. The one that got done with the frost. It's starting. Don't know whether it's going to actually catch up, but I'm well impressed that it's even had a go. <coughs> and I am starving them. And I've picked up this little. It is starting. This one's done brilliantly. That one's starting again. I'm going to put some of this basil out here now. I'll just do that before I go back and do some more work. Onions drying out in here. I've got to uh, sort those out, put them on that as well. But uh, they're drying out nicely. The garlic. Uh, gherkins. Picking these now, smaller because they are meant to be pickling gherkins. Uh, the court, the sorry, the courgettes, not courgettes, the cucumbers. I've got uh, one down there, but that hasn't really done a lot, to be perfectly honest. I've got a horrible feeling that's a gherkin, it's gone absolutely fig and huge. Here we go, in the undergrowth. Yeah. <sighs> Oh my word, I think that one might be a little bit too big for pickling. Well, <coughs> pickling is a whole gherkin. That's a big gherkin. Uh, yeah, I have to keep going into the undergrowth, so... Uh, the beetroot, some spring onions have already been pulled out at home. Uh, some of the beetroot we're going to pull anyway. It's not got massive anyway, but it, that's all right for me. Uh, the grapevine's doing great. So, first year. Oh, I've put some of these up. That needs a good watering. Some nasturtiums. First time I've had a hanging basket. I'll keep butting my head on that now. I know I will, but hey ho. You have to keep laughing, don't you? And it's lopsided because this isn't right. Oh, I'll sort that out later. Um, but yeah, that's the polytunnel. Looking swell. Looking good. Now a few tomatoes. Touch wood, I've got no end, uh, no bottom end blocks, um, blossom or whatever you call it, and looks like my watering regime is working. None of them have really split. My mine's down there, they're forming nice. <coughs> Outside, the Lama Rossas here is starting to bolt. So uh, it'll probably be the last pickings of that particular uh, row again. Um, 
this week. Main crop potatoes. Sweet peas. Marigolds in the tub still. I've never planted them out. I ought to get them out. Just give them a bit of a life. Peas, I've been picking peas. Um, some of these peas can come out. Carrots still growing. The shallots that I put in, uh, which I bought from uh, Wilco Cheap, are doing okay. Uh, Webb's Wonder that I put out. Some are not looking very happy. But uh, some more or less is going to seed there. It's all edible. <coughs> Dwarf French beans are the ones setting. And they're not setting as best as I thought they would do. So, not too sure. But anyway. Um, the onion bed has now been transformed into another bed. Very similar to these. Um, so, there'll be another one of these that end when the potatoes are brought dug up and then in the middle there'll be a smaller little bed where i said that uh, i'm going to put my dad's gooseberries in so that'll be in the middle so i need the walk path i need the pathway is uh, still quite wide so uh runner beans are doing okay and the french bean early is doing okay See. Need to get, get, a, get a move on now. Outdoor tomatoes are doing okay. Give them a good bit of a spruce up. Pumpkins, yeah, right. But uh, here's the budding squash and sweet corn. squash the other uh, shots I put out some of them have fired some haven't okay it's fine um, the courgettes I put out here that some aren't courgettes but again they're butternut squash bloody hell courgettes here are doing okay they're uh, fruited <coughs> Compost bins um, are doing okay. I just need to. I need to finish them off. Need to get the fronts done and the lid on top. But they're doing all right. Plenty of room to put stuff in. So that's good. Uh, more courgette plants. Lettuces. Hello, mate. Yep. Yeah. So there you go, guys.